Hello, it's Jason Payne for Colt Banker Dean, our brochures. Once again, I'm the community of Vera Mindy in the Vista Alta section, doing a follow up video for my client that's getting a beautiful home built here. Now, I know this house is under construction and it's not going to get a lot of views, but that's not why I'm doing this video. I'm doing this video so my client can see, get kind of a record of what this house looks like at this current date of mid July 2024. And so, a few viewers out there might be looking for a real estate agent that does videos like this throughout the build process you might reach out and give me a call all right let's go start the tour right out front all right this is the house uh from the front side it's been raining off and on for the last five days so i really wanted to come out here and do this video um, when it was just framing but man they got that sheetrock up pretty quick after the sheetrock inspection i definitely do like this vista alta um section in Veramindi, but i kind of walked through if you saw the video tour of the house where i had the inspectors out this is the same house and it definitely looks like they got stuff fixed like one of the things was that top beam was supposed to be on top of the side beams and it wasn't when we did the inspection but they fixed that now it looks like they fixed a lot of the stuff that they pointed out and kind of really doubled up on kind of the corners making sure those were all covered but anyways this is a three car garage house and uh, they did the walk through with my client on friday unfortunately i was already booked with a different person that day and i kind of got a i wish i'd have been out here for that i feel bad about not being able to be out for that walk through but yeah i love the entry let me turn around But uh, yeah, nice entry, love the tray ceilings, and you can really start to feel what this house is gonna look like once it's completed, once they get the sheetrock up. So this is gonna be a front bedroom with some nice tall ceilings in here. Decent sized closet there. And you're going to have a shared bathroom, no electricity here yet. So hopefully the GoPro is able to pick it up. But there was a lot more light in here before, when, before they put sheetrock up. And this is the other bedroom, kind of mirrors that first one. With like the same size closet. But I was glad to see the, have that inspector come out. And I did pay for that out of my pocket because that pre-sheetrock inspection is so critical and he definitely pointed out some things that needed to get done. So I'm definitely using that as kind of a promotion of why you should reach out to me as if you're realtor shopping because one, it didn't cost, the, the builder's paying my fees for this. This is gonna be the laundry room. It's just real dark to see in there. A little coat closet into this room, but the builder is paying my fees. It's a production home builder. And uh, I'm, then I'm covering like the pre sheet rock inspection. I'm glad I did because we definitely found out a lot of neat stuff. But this is gonna be a third bedroom. This is a four bedroom house. And then coming into the main living space here. Well, no, we still got the, this little flex room. Um, <clears throat> with this plan, this section we're seeing right here, my client wanted to get it extended so they can really close it in and uh, make this room bigger because I think he's going to be using it kind of a, uh, as a studio for he, he's a musician. So he wanted this room to be a little bit bigger and they were able to accommodate that. So I'm real glad they were able to do it. All right, now we're back into the main space. Lots and lots of space in here. Tall ceilings. These are 10 foot ceilings. We do have the electrical outlet in the floor. <clears throat> this is going to be your whole kitchen space. We see all the plumbing coming up in there. And they kind of bumped out this kitchen, this uh, pantry a little bit. Very nicely done. And you can see, like I said, you can really feel what this house is going to be looking like now. It's going outside, and I can highlight really why I like this uh, Vista Alta section in Veramindi. And that's because what you see right here, um, it's kind of a figure eight community, but yes, the houses are going to be a little close together. My client's already plans to build like a, 
little something there to kind of give people a little privacy. But out the back, you have just green space galore. This is all gonna be, you can see kind of their fence line. And I've walked this before. Um, that can be maintained by the community, but you're gonna have nobody right in behind you. And I really, really like that. Got another house going in right over there. But pointing out some of the things that have been improved upon, like I said, the corners, they got those sealed up really well. And you can see some of the other things that the inspector had pointed out that the builder fixed because yeah, this builders definitely want to deliver a good product and they're doing so. So they don't mind having another inspector coming through. So that's all done and sealed up. This can be a really cool space for entertaining uh, because the sun sets on the front of the house. We got a pretty deep sized backyard. And like I said, that green space for those beautiful oak trees, that's just not going anywhere. But yeah, they're gonna put some uh, stuff to give a little privacy on that side. But lots and lots of windows. Let's go check out the master bedroom. So once again, lots of windows, got a few broken windows. Uh, so you're never gonna have a construction project going without at least one or two broken windows. And I consider that good luck. But yeah, there's the sheet rocking. Of course, they've got a lot of taping and floating to do. And that's gonna take them a while, but they just kind of tack the sheet rock up. <clears throat> but a really nice size bathroom. Got your linen closet right up front. We're gonna have dual vanities going across this way. Nice little spot for light. Water closet. And then a really cool, good sized shower. Um, they added, my client asked them to put this up so it wouldn't be just like this whole wall of um, glass that they have to squeegee all the time. So they did, they're doing a half wall. So my client's real happy they were able to accommodate that. This is the foundation I'm walking on and you can really see how they kind of cut into the foundation for the shower. That's why it's a mud inset shower. But that's a good size shower and lots and lots of space in here and a good size closet going through here, but you can't see it because there's no light. Eight foot doors throughout this house, lots of lighting. I do, I'm gonna do at least two more videos of this house before uh, we're all said and done with it, but I'm super glad my client is getting a beautiful home built in this really nice community. I also like Veramindi as a community because they're so centrally located to everything in New Braunfels, Texas. You go right outside this community and it's across the street from the New Braunfels High School right off of uh, 337, which also gives you easy access to green and everything else. I know this wasn't a very long video, but I hope it was informative, both to my client and anybody else watching it. Uh, this house is gonna be gorgeous, um, happy for my client. And I absolutely love the location, like I just said. But anyways, if you're looking for a real estate agent that does these, uh, I specialize in helping people relocate to the Texas Hill Country area. All my contact information will be on the final slide and in the description box. I'd love to meet you and uh, kind of get to know you and be figure out what's gonna best suit your needs because I love New Braunfels, Boverde, and Ber Bernie. Those are areas I really specialize in. Anyways, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, but most importantly, share these videos with friends and family, especially if they're looking to move to this area. All right, take care now, bye.